record to the cloud. All right, recording's in progress. Yeah. Now, Vincent, you got to tell Susan. Oh. They can hear us. Hello, everyone. Susan, you're being recorded. I'm being recorded. I had to hit record. Hi. Hi. Um, Going too fast. I'm trying to pick out who's there. Yeah. That's oh, Faith. There that was Faith. Faith. Yeah. There Faith and Romero. This is what? beyond the pale. Look at these people. You got like oh, how many anybody... tables there full of people? Yeah. <laughs> anybody win? You guys during trivia. We was yeah. in sales. We sell mostly use. Okay. Did anybody win any substantial amount of money? All right, let me. All right, I'm gonna sign off, guys. So you don't okay, have to. Okay, bye. Work. Have fun in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. And they're gone. Yeah, they're yeah. gone. But, oh, but, oh. Right. Uh, but it it's staying in Vegas. Yes, it is. <laughs> I I miss them. So we're gonna break up into five teams with like. I mean, yeah, that's people? gonna be a tough one. Five. Probably should go for we're four only gonna teams, have like maybe. yeah four we're teams. we're gonna have probably and so far we only got four teams. categories too so right yeah unless someone else joins that uh then they can always do it next week right or something you know what i mean if that happens yep. that's that's like three people on a team or three on a three. team yeah three and times two four. during your own category yep so yeah that's gonna be experimentally fun <laughs> <laughs> um I just want to have one team of 12, and that way everybody wins. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, three teams of four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that might uh, work let's better. see. Uh, Karen said she was stepping away, and she'll be back in 20 minutes, but that was... Say, still got about 10 minutes to go. Three yeah. teams of four. If you want to do, do fewer categories, and you know anybody, they could just roll it over to a future game. You know, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Well, as of right now, we only have Ooh. three rounds anyway. So, yeah, three. We have three rounds three. and a bonus. So, maybe so you should have four teams, right? Three maybe people we'll each. Just do that. But, yep. Now, That'll well, work. I could be in bed yeah. by eleven. Oh my god. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Well, we Amazing. gotta stop. We usually we stop by now. We always have team names at this point, so we we're falling yeah, behind. Yeah, we're kind of late. Yeah, I was waiting because Karen was away, but I can build the teams and all that while while Karen's out doing her thing. So, all um, right. Well, send us I'll to start. So I'll start constructing. Names. All right, construct. How many breakout rooms do we need? We need. You'll have to forgive me because this is my first time doing all this fun stuff. Yeah. So, we're walking through um, it. Four. We need four teams, four rooms. Okay. Now, if I say assign automatically, does it still allow me to do a little house changes, cleaning yeah. afterwards? Okay. I good. think you can change it. Yep. There it is. All right. So we just, we just lost Mike, didn't we? Oh, did we? Yeah. All right. Uh oh. And Peggy, you're round one. Kevin is going to be round two. So let's move you. Uh, Kevin, move to round two. Or room two, not round two, but either way. All right. And then let's see. Caspian is three. Yep, we're going to do that. And we're going to move. Okay. And I got to remember, Bob has two devices, so I got to make sure Bob is uh, in the right area. Put him in two teams. Yeah, I know. I totally should jump back and forth. All the right. iPad stays in the main room anyway, so yeah, for the most part, you yeah. You don't have you don't have to assign it to a room. Just... Okay, um, Vincent, are you leaving early, or are you here for the whole kit and caboodle? I I, 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 I have to leave early. Okay. Well, then I'll make sure I got to move you because we don't want you and Jim on the same team. Besides, if any, if any of the categories are Canadian related, you don't want the two Canadians on the same team. Right. I'm Canadian. Remember that? Oh, and there's Ron, too. Yeah. Ex-Canadian. Put, put all the Canadians on the same team. That's right. Yes. <laughs> so I wonder what happened to Mike. <laughs> yeah. All right, as of right now, I only have three. Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five. Well, six, we need people back because we got we got some some rooms with only two people. So, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. well, the should be three right now, and then two when, like, I'm doing my category. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there something wrong with having three teams of four each? Well, but we typically do it. Yeah, if we have four rounds, we want, uh, uh, uh you know, that many teams because of people, that many. Teams. Yeah, we have a person doing each one on a different team. Right. And All right. There's Mike. Rounds. Cool. So I can add him in. Mike's uh, back. Categories. He's back. He's back. We thought we scared him off. Yeah, we did. All right. So. Sorry, folks. Oh, that's, that's okay. I had to reboot my routers and whatnot. Oh, not a problem. All right. I'm going to send you guys to your rooms, and then I still need to assign Mike because Mike just joined. Um, and then you guys can come up with some team names. All right. Let's go. All right. Go. All right. All right, there you are. That's how I assign someone. I'm not assigned. You are assigning now. Ready. We got a team name already. That was quick. You guys are back yeah. already. We're moving. We want to move forward. All right. Well, there you go. So are you on a team? Me? Oh, no. You're doing the drop. -in. I'm 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 playing Susan, so I'm okay. gonna have to play on all the teams. I got it. Oh, that's cool. That's I forgot about that. So it's not just two people. Right. And, and yeah, cool. exactly. Oh, well, there's our team name. <laughs> okay. I need to add that to the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I need to put... Oh, it went all the way back. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the spreadsheet went all the way back. Crazy spreadsheet. Oh, I hate when it does that. I know. Tell me about it. That's crazy. Okay. So you guys are room two. Yeah, we're off on we a tangent. Kevin and Terry. Yeah, which is kind of we're talking. And I said, yeah, let's come up with Jeff. a team name before we go off on a tangent. And we all like that. <laughs> nice. Oh, geez. I have to install a thing to enable. I'm going to crap out at 10 o'clock for five minutes. What? I can't sometimes, sometimes I go on my phone because my, my computer automatically reboots at 10 o'clock. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Minutes. You were mentioning yeah. that. So yeah, that's okay. why I didn't want to do round one. No, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Is that, it is, is so why is it automatic? Why is it? We, it's we, because we, it's a work computer and yeah, they set it up and I can't change oh, it. Yeah. They, okay. His work computer is locked down and it forces yeah. him to reboot at a specific time. 
Oh, okay. If it's okay. a personal device, you can control, you yeah. know, your, your off My IT department at my work does it. Uh, sometimes it's a Monday, sometimes it's a Thursday. This yeah. time, this week okay. it did it both times. And yeah. Yeah. Like I was supposed to leave it, it at work. Yeah. Like it, it was the, <laughs> like it was, uh, like it used to be that Microsoft would do this thing and you could pick a time be, and postpone it, it, it for it, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but but now I've got the option of saying shut down without uh, without reboot without uh, mm. resetting without doing the updates, so that you know if I you know so if it, yeah, mine mine is it's a laptop computer uh, yeah. work laptop. So yeah, when I go to work, I tie it into a couple of monitors and I do my job, and then when I come home, sometimes I do my job at home. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, so these days I, I always just uh, tell it, uh, uh, I just think, okay, um, can I leave it plugged in for the next hour or two? Do I need to use it in the next hour or two? Okay, I will reset yep. with, with, it's always uh, a dilemma. With, 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 with update. And you, so usually I'll just do it when I'm, when I'm about to turn off the light and go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. a good time to do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll give them another minute, and then I'll call them back. That should be enough time for them to create their team names. But sometimes, I'm, but sometimes in the middle of the day, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, I'm going to do my bike ride and uh, uh, for the next hour and <laughs> something like that. Oh, I guess Karen was able to, she got back and all right, I'm going to use the restroom real quick and then I'll come back and uh, close all the rooms and we'll get all the team names. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. Did did you work in the music business? No. Wow. I just I know a lot of people in it though. Just okay. That's yeah. cool. That's neat. That's great. Yeah, I know a lot of people. Um friends with a lot of people and then I take photos. So then they say, oh, come over here and take photos and stuff. So I've met a lot of famous people. Oh, cool. From being a photographer? Yeah, but I don't make any money at it. I just do it as a hobby, you know? Well, that's cool. That's okay. Yeah, it's it's fun. Yeah, I would like to make money at it, but there's really, you have to know somebody. And, yeah. And most of people I know, they don't, they just do local small places. And then I know a few people who are semi-famous, but they they just don't. They don't pay because they have people they'll do it for free you know and I, i'm one of those guys you know yeah that's okay yeah it's fun it's been a hobby yeah. since the early 80s wow for years yeah hey karen you made it oh you're driving okay okay uh you're on you're, mute karen you're on mute i'm at a stoplight i'll be home in like 10 minutes Okay. okay. Good. Hopefully you uh, had enough time, guys, to come up with your team names. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Hey, Ben. Yo. Apparently we're being recorded. So. Oh, yeah, well, so. thank you for that <laughs> notification, Vincent. We needed that. Vincent. I appreciate that. Ben, Bob what? and I were only a two-person team. Yes. And here's the issue. There's 12 people tonight, but I am one of them and I'm hosting the game. So if I do the typical uh susan i got job. you i have to go from room to room or be, i can be yeah. your team member the whole time we have no four. no that's good that gives that gives two that's good 
So we have somebody to deliberate with. You do. You oh, have four, hand. Karen, on yours. We we have four. Jamie is, Caspian. Vincent is Jamie me. Jamie is playing? Okay, I okay. I wasn't sure. All right, awesome. Well, I can. Uh, Karen, would you like to be moved to room one, or are you happy with your team? I'm. I've already bonded. However, I don't have separation issues, and okay. I will heal from it. Okay. <laughs> Because I can't split Caspian and Jamie up, so I either have to move you or I have to move uh, Vincent to room one. What are What are we gonna do after Karen drives into a tree? Uh, like, yeah, I don't know. We've never it had a posthumous player. Safe to me, but <laughs> whatever. Now she's driving at night. I think your team would win automatically. Wouldn't we have I? another person on our team. You know, this, is like, this is sunny. This is sunny right here. We don't need to disturb what's going on. We're fine. You guys going to be all right? You going to survive? Yeah, because Ben, Bob will have you, and okay. then I'll, it'll be fine. All right. We'll try. So, shall we get some team names? Yep. All right. Uh, team number one, Bob and Peggy, and sometimes Ben. We are, we don't need no, it should be no stinking badges. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We don't need. I can, I can badges. fix that. If you don't need no sticky badges, then you do need sticking badges. Right? Yeah. What they're saying is they need badges, just not ones that stink. Not stinking yeah. badges, stinking not, badges. We don't need no stinking badges. We don't need no stinking badges. All right. All right, uh, and group two, which is Kevin, Terry, and Jim. It's already in there. And they are, we're off on a tangent because you guys gave it to me already. Yeah. And let's see. Caspian, Jamie, Karen, and Vincent. There's also a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a, a uh, extra player as well then? Uh, I don't know if he'll be participating, but he'll be around. Okay, and we have uh, room four, Cindy, Mike, and Ron. There's a cat there, too. Uh, do you have it, Mike? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, our team name. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to put it in the chat. Put it in the chat for me, please. Oh, there it is. Okay, I could have copied it. Sorry about that. Did uh, Susan and Carl get to meet William Peterson and Georgia Fox? Oh, my PSI God. Uh, just a little bit of a name there. All right, See, cool. I like great. it. Hey, it fits. It fits in the box. You're, you guys are okay. That's not a name. That's four names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well, um, since I have teams and I have team names, I think we can get started. Uh, welcome. This is... Uh, Susan's social trivia with your host Ben pretending to be Susan tonight. Um, we have four teams tonight. Say since Washington, most of us, please. Washington, say Washington or please. do I need to say Washington? No, I can say Washington, or should I say Ooh. Washington? Uh, that's how I, I can say, say it. it that way too. Washington, that's how I say it. <laughs> Washington. So tonight we only have four teams and we only have four total rounds because most of our members, or I should say about half of our members, are in Las Vegas attending CSICon. So they are over there having fun while we are going to have more fun playing trivia without them. <laughs> we have a chance to win. because Exactly. That's right. That's right. So our teams are team one, Bob and Peggy, uh, and their team name is We Don't Need No Stinking Badges. Uh, team two, Kevin, Terry, and Jim, and their team name is We're Off on a Tangent. Team three is Caspian, Jamie, Karen, and Vincent, and the name of their team is There's Also a Cat. And then we have team four. Cindy, Mike, and Ron, and their team name is Did Susan and Carl Get to Meet William Peterson and Georgia Fox at CSICon? Did I pronounce that correctly? I believe yes. so. All right. Awesome. Okay, cool. 
and doing our rounds tonight. Uh, Peggy is will be up for round one. Kevin will be round two. Caspian, round three. And then our bonus, since we don't have a round four, uh, will be Cindy. Oh, I, I was doing a round two. You are doing a round. Okay, sorry. You yeah. were out, out, out when, um, when I was asking, and so oh. I apologize. That's okay. I volunteered last week to do a round okay, and cool. to find someone to do bonus. Awesome. And I did not have that written down from last week, and I should have. So my apologies. Well, guys, it looks like we do have four. So that is awesome. So Karen, you're okay with doing round four then? I'll just stick you in there right before Cindy. <laughs> she we're we're gonna we're gonna assume she's nodding her head yes we're oh, there go. yes <laughs> which is good because that'll give karen time to get home and yeah. you won't have to rush because you're round four because we don't want you driving quickly and you know erratically and and hitting a tree or something so does that yeah. mean that be team safe. four have have two people giving categories um team room three does yeah so you should because... move me to another cat team well but, but but it'll it'll still be a team it, yeah because we only have category. four we only we have so little people that we only have four teams so that i don't see any problem with that yeah i think we'll just have to yeah, deal it with makes it makes sense yeah that my team has more than okay yeah it's it's just kind of going to be one of those funky nights so <laughs> all right play that funky music white so white. are we ready to get this party started people ready all right, so Peggy, what is your category? Tonight we're going to do something, which I hope is kind of quick and easy. It's alliterative place names. So I will give you descriptions and you will come up with place names that consist of two words that start with the same letter, with the exception that one of the answers also includes a preposition. So I'm going to try to put, I'm going to try to put all 10 in the chat at the same time and hope that it fits okay Does, and then uh, I'll, I'll run them down orally briefly okay the other thing that i need to announce is that it's very possible that two that more than one place might answer the description and if that's the case and you can prove it you will get credit for your answer all right, all right. Anyone have any questions? Otherwise, I will mute everyone. No, wait. Let me go through them. I'll just go through them so they're on the You're tape. You're just going to do it? Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go because they're really fast. The first is a Scottish body of water. The second is a large bridge in California. The third is the highest peak in the Appalachians, Appalachians, depending on your preferred pronunciation. Four is a Texas city on the Gulf of Mexico. Five is African capital city. Six is capital city of the state of Nevada. Seven is the largest county in Ireland. Eight is Massachusetts Peninsula. I think I misspelled Massachusetts, apologies. Nine is um, area in the Southern US perceived as ultra religious. 10 is a London train and underground station. All righty, okay. there you go. All right, everybody good with that? Do I have powers? I have not given anyone powers, so um, I can give you powers, or I can just open the rooms myself. So, but if I don't have powers, oh, I can't you need to be around. able to right exactly I bounce around. So let me do that. I need to figure out how to do that because I've never actually given people power. I think you make me a co-host. Yeah, hold on. Uh, uh, let me find you. Do do. Oh, Karen is coming back. Um, let me admit her first, and then let me see. Yeah, make co-host. Here you go. I figured it out. Yay. Okay. Yay. I'm making you the co-host. Meow. Thank you. Yep. And then I need to, you can open the breakout rooms if you want, and then I'll add uh, Karen part two electric boogaloo to the proper room. Um, Breakout rooms. Well, oh, here they are. They were Got hiding. It? Okay. Yeah. All, All right, right. Let's do this. <laughs> not now to that one did i add her to the right room please tell me i did yes. um i'll go there did you oh good uh yeah i'm gonna i'm adding karen 
Now you got to put yourself in my room. I will. I will. Do we have the right Karen in the right room? I'm just making sure. Yep, she's there. Okay, I'm going to move to room one and help out Bob. All righty. Okay, bye. Ciao.
right? Trying to, they got get kicked out of the room and they did. The guy doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> so I'm outside of my room and he doesn't know I'm outside of the room. They're debating the answers right now and I, I'm missing out, but it's all right. Hey. Hey, you hey, get into were, my room. Yeah, I'll do that. Sorry, I yep. didn't have that up. So you room were two. in room two. Yep. Okay. How do I do that from here? I think where it says there's a way to assign. Yeah. Oh, breakout rooms. Here we go. Hold on. Do 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 participants and Kevin, assign to room two. Thank there you. There you go, sir.
I guess Karen didn't hit a uh, an abutment. How could recording be in progress when Ben is not even in here? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Oh, huh. oh well. There he is right there. We're back. We're back. And okay. what else should be scared? Is everybody back? I think so. Looks like it. All righty. That's it. Yep. We're all here. Ready for some answers. Yep. There's 13. That's how many we are, huh? Yep. Yep. All righty then. You ready for answers? Here we go. Number one, Scottish body of water. This is the one with the preposition, Firth of Fourth. Okay. Oh. What, a, what about Loch Lomond? Well, Loch Lomond. Or um, Loch Lomond. And I would take that, but that means that you won't have one with a preposition. Okay. So uh, that's so all right. What's that, what's our what's our ruling? Is that gonna be yeah, a no I, or because we well, also also, have that? They both have the same a good answer though. It's a yeah. It yeah, but but one of the parameters was one of the answers includes a preposition. Yeah, and it's one of the ones we got wrong. <laughs> yeah, or the one we didn't get at all. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, okay. If you have one in your answers and in good faith we'll say we had a preposition in something else, then you can have Locke Loman. Okay. We had a blank, so that had a preposition. Yeah, yeah. Our, our blank is a preposition, right? That was a bad preposition. Okay, yeah. number two, I think everybody got Large Bridge in California is the Golden Gate. Yeah. I heard a lot of people know number three, which I didn't know because, you know, West Coast people are so, we got our heads up our West Coast butts, really. <laughs> number three is Mount Mitchell. Ah. Uh, East Coasters oh. got that one. I didn't, I never heard um, of it. Yeah. Um, D, Texas City on the whatever Gulf is Corpus Christi. Yeah. Yay. Yay. E, African capital is Addis Ababa. Hey, we got that. Yay, Ooh, way to go, guys. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I have it as F. Capital city of the state of Nevada, number six is Carson City. Woohoo. And number seven is the largest county in Ireland is County Cork. Oh. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Yay, Jamie. And let's see, County Cork is Cape, Massachusetts Peninsula, pretty much. I think I saw a lot of teams get that. That was Cape Cod. And the area- Going there tomorrow. Cool. The area in the Southern United States perceived as ultra religious is uh, the Bible Belt. Yes. We have a question. We put the Bible Belt as our preposition. <laughs> the is an article, not a preposition. Yeah. Oh, yes. They get zero points hey. for that. That's right. <laughs> Definitely it's a preposition or it's an article. So you get oh. zero points. Oh, <laughs> do they still get the point for at least coming up with Bible Belt, though? Yeah, they should. Yes. What if we yeah. put yeah. she, she, Key they Bible Belt. <laughs> no, that's, those are pronouns. Oh, that's a pronoun. That's yeah. a pronoun. No, we're not doing preferred pronouns either. Yeah. Yeah. What about Bible Belting? Like What's people the, who drink too much yeah. or something. Would what you about Bible, Bible Belt bullshit? Yeah. No, that We're means you probably it. missed one because you yeah. don't have one with a preposition. Yeah. What's a okay. pronoun? A noun that's lost its amateur status. Yes. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh, Okay, the final one, London train and underground station is Charing Cross. Ooh, what a guess. Uh, All right. Uh, Never would have got that one. All right. Okay. So well, I have a question about number six. This is alliterative, is, is the category? It's supposed to be. Wouldn't it be Carson Kitty then? Um, well, it, I think it was pretty explicit that it was same letters, not necessarily pronunciation. Ah, okay. Sarston City. <laughs> yes. Or Sarston that. City. <laughs> yes. Or that. Um, All right. Okay. So, so um, I'm ready okay, for so scores. You're not accepting Locke Lomond is correct. No. Yeah. Locke Lomond is yeah, correct. It's correct. But 
we got you, oh. that's only if you have another answer that includes a preposition but what if one wrong. of the other ones we thought was the one with the preposition but we couldn't come up with the answer yeah Does i that mean sure it's wrong that, yeah. or do we have to have the idea that one of them has to have a pro i didn't even realize that that was an i thought that was just a hint not an actual requirement you said that if we had one that is a i mean lock Lumen is a legit answer for number one so there's no reason to have that it is and, and the ruling has been mike the ruling has been that if you can give yourself credit for that if you have an answer that has a preposition in it later on but we had one that we thought would have the preposition we're giving ourselves the point anyway yeah <laughs> and that's the point so you probably got it wrong whatever that answer was yes but, okay what 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 was the one that you uh, what, what what was the one you thought that that you got that had, had a con the okay. highest peak in the Appalachians we thought had a preposition. Mm. Oh. The Mount of Mitchell. Yes. No, well, there we you had go. no idea what it was, but we figured that must be the one with the preposition. Yes. Right. All right. Score. So, Bob, what do we have? I'm counting. You're on mute, Bob. Five. I without Lock Loman. Right. But see, the whole time you're we, not we getting were saying. Lock Loman? You well, get but we're counting we, we thought one there. of the other ones that we couldn't come up with an answer yeah, for we, had the preposition. We got two blanks, so then then you're good on Lock Lomond. You're the, fine the, on Lock Lomond. All right, yeah. we'll give ourselves the six then. Okay, I okay. got two blanks. Okay, so maybe one of those. Okay. Two All right, okay. so, so team two, team two we we're got off eight. on a tangent. You we got, got yeah, if we're All if right. we're counting Lock Lomond is correct, then it's yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, team three. There's also a cat. Nine. Nine. Wow. Nice. Ooh, very good. Fancy. Okay. Um, team four. Yes. Nice. Nine. Good. Are we team four. There's only four teams. Yeah, you're team four. There's only four teams. Okay. That's Sorry, it. I, I just uh, neglected to read the mile long name. So, <laughs> would you have counted the Bay Bridge for number two? Um, yeah, I would have had to. Um, of that later, because the oh, Bay Bridge yeah. is actually even longer than the Golden Gate. Oh, uh -huh. well, yeah. So it fits the requirements of large bridge in California. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. It just—I don't know. It just seems to me like California Bridge. Right. The first thing you think yeah. of is the Golden Gate because yeah, that's right. in like every but, every but movie set in California. It fits, and there yeah. are probably yeah. other bridges that do too. Right. I, I knew that. Well, gee, let's see. Gee. Are there any big bridges aside from the San Francisco Bay Area? Um, in New York, there's that there's one in, there. in San Diego. There is one in San Diego. I wouldn't call it a big bridge. But isn't that one in Big Sur? At least, a, it, I don't know. Big, yeah. it's, it's not that big. Not very it's long. very structurally. It, it's got a big drop. It's structure. Yeah. That's there a train bridge one. going over Cape Cod. Uh, oh, oh, is that cool? Or, Oh, does, oh, oh, does that go? Is that crossing the Cape Cod Canal? Yes, it is. So that uh, so 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 that, so that the middle bit li lifts up. Uh, That's right, and for the boats, and then it lowers when a train has to go across. Yeah. All cool. right, Kevin, how about how about are the you ready? Street viaduct. I'm ready. All right. Also, a large bridge in California. So, Kevin, what is your category? Category is the birds and the bees. Oh, the birds and the bees. Ooh. Birds and the bees. And All right. The anybody have any questions? Don't Do give any hints. Anything else? Otherwise, we'll mute. Yeah, please mute. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me get back to that. And then I'm going to share my screen. And is this going to be another one of those lots of pictures of cartoon birds? <laughs> you will see. No more co-hosts for you. Let me give co-hosts to Kevin. Oh dear. If I can find Kevin. There he is. Up here. All right. Down I'm there. You co -host right. And muting in three, two, one. Don't forget right. to unmute. Yep. All right. I'm gonna share my screen. And Ooh, I still get to talk because I'm Susan. <laughs> Trying to find how I share my screen. Yes, I have to open a folder. OK. 
Okay. Why? Hmm. Are you yeah, missing the share screen screen. button, Kevin? You're on a PC, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's not showing me the screen. Oh. There it is. Okay. All right. Can you all see that? Yes. Correct. The birds and the bees. First two questions are right there. So maybe you want to take a screenshot. Any odd number, one, three, five, or seven, name one of those birds. If you get it, one of those birds, all you need is one with the correct name. And then two, four, six, eight, an even number, that'll be question two. So you just pick any one. If you decide you don't know what number one is, try number three, number five, or number seven. If you just have to identify one of the four, one, three, five, seven for question one, and two, four, six, eight for question two. So take a screenshot and then I'll move on to the next question, question three. Question three, name this famous C. Question four, name yes. this famous B, the guy in the middle. Question five, who played voiced one of the two main characters in this movie get either one of them and you get the point the two people whose name would be filled in right here on the top if you if i didn't white it out mm -hmm. so one of the two voice characters the main characters so we had the birds and the bees and now the flowers question six and Question seven. Question six, go down the list. There's one from each column or each uh, row. Kevin, you you're not gonna you're not gonna give us this file. I don't know how to do that, but Be if because someone knows there how are to do images, it. there are images for all of these. So yeah, each time I, we have to take a screenshot. Yeah, if, if there's a way to do, how do I do it? Does someone know how to do that? I can send it to somebody. I don't know how to do that. I mean, if it doesn't have the answers in your PowerPoint, you can just put it in the, you can, you can add it into the chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's in a, if it's, you know, a file that doesn't have it the answers. It is a file. Yeah, I can do that. You have to make sure that you've enabled the anybody can share it thing. How do I do that? Ben can tell you. <laughs> Well, if it's a PowerPoint, it's not like he has a file on a Google Doc, you know, Google site. If it's just a file, you can just pretty much just drag it into the chat box. Into the chat. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that when it's done. So there's two questions here. Even numbers. If you look at each row, there's a number one, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four. As I looked at these flowers, and those are the toughest ones that me and my wife couldn't identify to make this a little tricky. So you just need one of them for question six, that's an even number. And one of them for question seven, that's an even number. So you get four shots at it, pick one, just, just name one. And if it's one of the four, that's correct. So next question. So, so does, it, does one have to be the, the uh, so if I'm naming one, is it anyone in that row or is it? No, the anyone that has a number next to it. Okay. So is the one next to the second flower, which is purple and green? Yes. Yes. Okay. The Got closest it. one. The closest. Got it. Yep. Okay. And the next one is what kind of tree is this? A blurry one. <laughs> uh -huh. There's a hint there if you look around on the it's screen. Very blurry. A hint. Then the next question. Name the album that has the record for the most weeks on the Billboard Top 200 album chart. And then the last question, name this guy or what is he famous for? Now I will. Hello, did we lose Kevin? Yeah, I can't hear him. Yeah, we can't hear yeah, you, he's Kevin. Gone. 
Kevin, are you there? Oh, he's there. We can't we, hear you. We, we see you talking, but we cannot hear you, mm -hmm. sir. Well, now we can. Now you can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and share that thing. So I just drag it to the chat, you say? Yeah, you can try that. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, there it is. We can download Yay! it. All right. That was cool. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. Well done, Kevin. Enjoy. Go to your rooms. You can. I made you co-host. Are you able to open the room? I, I don't oh. see it. Can you put a list of the questions in the chat? I can do that too. Yeah, that would be helpful. I don't see it in the chat. Oh, did oh, I not hit you, yet? I see it. Yeah, you I see it. On a computer. If you're, yeah, if you're on a mobile device, you probably won't be able to see it because well, it's, looking, a, it's a it's a PowerPoint. On the iPad. Yeah, that that's a mobile device. That's not going to count. Well, that's the whole. Uh... The only thing Bob, that you can see I, on a mobile device is going to be text that's put in the chat. Bob, oh, okay. I got it, and I'll share it when we get to our room. Oh, okay, cool. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. I can uh, open the rooms if you need me to, Kevin. Yeah, I'm going to put the answers, uh, the questions in the text. All right, let's first. do that first before we uh, open the rooms. Uh, thank you, sir. That is helpful. All right, let's see. I don't know that I can open the rooms. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, uh, Ben, I yes. have been, I ended up I'll, in room I'll, two. Thanks. Okay, I'll put you I back. I need to go to one. Yep. Got it. Oh, I just can you can you try it again? I'm sorry. Well, it says you're not joined. Try assigning me one more time. I think I messed up because I was trying to get rid of the room too, and now All right, I hold said on. no, and now it's not there. So I can join breakout rooms from here. Yeah. Oh, I have. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, Karen, are you good? You need me to? Yeah, I'm just trying to open this file. Okay, no problem. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go join. I am now in room two. Problem with the content. Attempt repair. Okay, repair. Okay.
So, Ron, you are from Eastern Canada, aren't you? Yeah, Toronto. Toronto, yeah. See, that's how I can tell you're not from that part of the country because you think there's a T at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Because I'm not pronouncing it Tarana. It's Toronto. Toronto. Although for some odd reason, the last time I was back there, people are starting to put the T back in. I don't know. It must be all these foreigners are moving in or something. The foreigners? Yeah. You know, all, all the southern immigrants that overshoot uh, Martha's Vineyard end up in Canada. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> are you guys ready for answers yeah we got everybody yep. back it looks like it yep give us would some you answers. like to sing again vincent what vincent would you like to sing again oh no i'm good what was the song you were singing you practically gave it away oh um birds and the bees but I exactly don't... that's the whole oh. answer right there everything yeah. Let me yeah. tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, the moon up above. There's all the answers are right there. So I'll uh, go through the answers. Oh, yeah. I'll go through the answers. Uh, let's see. Share the screen. Uh, I gotta find it. Okay, I was sharing the screen. Uh, I thought it was a Beatles man. song, but I was, I didn't know who sang it. I just Answers. <laughs> the Birds and the Bees trivia. Answers. So there's the answers if you got one of those birds right. Okay. These are the birds. So check the answers. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. Kevin. Kevin. Yes. Number, number one is a ringneck pheasant. There are many varieties of pheasant. Okay. So that's a, it's a ringneck. Yeah, it's up to you, but I'm. Yeah, I'll take pheasant I'm, because that's when I took this picture. It was I'm a way. This was what they said were the answers. Okay. It was from a, a quiz okay. page. Okay. So that's the answers. So make sure you check your scores. And this is, of course, Larry Bird, famous Celtic. And this is a B, the Boston Bruins, Bobby Orr. Famous who's, a, B. who's a strange guy on the right? That's me. No. <laughs> and my son on the left. Yeah, that's a before and after. <laughs> <laughs> that's 30 years apart. <laughs> Bobby is still alive. Bobby, yep. Bobby, Bobby mm -hmm. Orr. And that's uh, Jerry Seinfeld or Renee Zellweger. Gee. Did anyone Bobby answer Renee Zellweger? Gee, no. I guess, if, yeah, you know, I guess if I was a proper Canadian uh, who uh, re really watched a lot of hockey, I would have got you would have known Bobby Orr. Yeah. He's from yeah. Canada. Yeah. But he's a sound because he was a Boston Bruin. We call him the Bees. Yeah. That's why I did the C and then followed by the B, Larry Bird and Bobby Orr. And Bobby Orr was number four, question four, I'm trying to give as many hints as possible. But you see the theme. Let me tell you about the birds and the, and the, bees and the flowers and the trees yeah the moon up above the dark side of the moon ah. and the man oh. who wrote it the man who sang it he's famous for ah. the birds and the bees oh, hey. yeah we Georgie were in close Porchy. on that one that's the name of another song that's why i whited it out so you think it was his name <laughs> oh. he had a hit song called georgie porgy yeah but he was famous for the birds and the bees song so we need six and seven. Okay. There's the answer, six and seven. We, okay, we just we needed one of the each even or odd. Just I get one know. right and get a point. I think I'm going to have some eights and nines. That's what I think. I didn't Aram. Oh. So does Titan Aram have a have another name? Corpse uh, flower. Corpse flower. Because we got corpse flower. Yes, we got two. Yeah. It was this, it was listed as I see it. So I don't know. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, that's good. What's correct? Yeah, What's good? Corpse flower is good. Is it, okay. If it's the same thing, then I, I, it was just labeled mm -hmm. this. 
Yeah, sometimes yeah, they go at popular names. Quartz flower is the popular name. Yeah. Quartz flower, they call it a corpse flower, Kevin, because for a few days when it blooms, it smells like a dead body. Ew. Yeah. Yep. They had one in Santa Cruz. Yeah, so that if blooming. that's the common name, then give yourself a point. So they okay. had one in Santa Cruz okay. that was blooming recently, and people were driving hours to line up and drive through the tent to get a whiff of it. <laughs> And then take pictures of how disgusting, disgusted their faces look. That's funny. <laughs> we need the tree too. Yeah, number seven. For, yeah. for Monty what, Python. What does that March. say? Dennis Moore. Dennis Moore. Do, 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 do. Oh dear. And how about the the flower? Um, no, the birds. What were the birds? What well, was? Yeah, you oh. went by. Yeah. Those yeah. are the birds. See, I, I think I, I think it could have gotten large if the picture was less blurry. Yeah. Well, but it said Monty Python at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. that was the head. Yeah. Yeah, that was taking a snapshot from the video on YouTube. And, and it said the, it didn't Brazil. say the larch. It says it up here and down here. It sure does. But you couldn't That's see that. And I whited it out in the question. Oh. And Kevin, if you when now that we're done, if you can put the answer PowerPoint yep, into the chat as well. Yep. Thank you. So I will save that information. I like PowerPoints. So it's uploading right now. Okay. So we can do scores. Why do you like PowerPoints? Is because they're to the point? Yeah, because it was right, easy just to drag downloaded. it like I just did. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so that we can do the answers. You're doing great, Ben. You really are. Oh, well, thank Susan you. Gervais. I'm trying. This is my yeah, first it's, time. It's like, so. it's yeah, like tell Susan, Susan she doesn't have to come back. All right, yeah. sounds good. And you're more <laughs> help when you're on, on our team. Yeah. All right, can you guys see that? Yes. yes. All right, so... Uh, Team one, we don't need no stinking badges. We got seven. Okay. Yeah. Team two, which was me and Terry and Jim, I think we had a four. Anyone want to corroborate that? That's right. Four. Yeah. Four. Yikes, that's my team. Yeah, way to go, Kevin. That's it. That's the curse. <laughs> the curse. The yeah. curse. The um, curse. Right. Vincent was singing the song right at the start. No one caught it. Team three, there's also a cat. Nine. Nine. Good job, Ooh. team. Including you should have got that last got, one. We got the last one. Yeah. Oh, nice. you did. Yeah. All right. Team you four, did something? Susan and Carl get to meet William Peterson? Et cetera. Seven. All right. We didn't yeah. get the album, Kevin. Ah. We put so, Let It Be. Dark Side of the Moon. Team three is in the lead with 18. Followed closely by team four with 16. And then team one with 13 and team two with 12. All right. Um, it is now break time. Break time. So five minute break. Picture, yeah. picture. Yeah, picture. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Yeah, picture, picture first. Thank you Not for the reminder. No screen share no and picture. Who, who is taking the picture? And do I need to take the picture? What can we do yeah. special special for Susan and everyone who's at PsyCon right now? Make a face or something. I don't know. <laughs> face, face away from the camera. Eyeball. Yeah. Eyeball. Flip her off. Yeah. No! <laughs> all of them. Flip them off. What are we doing? I don't right. know. Are you guys ready? Eyeballs. Look grumpy. <laughs> Just we all doing eyeballs. In Vegas stays in Vegas. Whatever happens in Vegas. There you go. I disappear. All right, three, two, one. Jeez. I think I was not there. <laughs> okay, did that work? So is that done now? Or <laughs> yeah, I think. Let me look. I think we got it. Let me look here. Do, do. You know, I don't Luckily, think I, I, seen, I don't think I've seen any of these. Where are these available? She posts you them could. on her Facebook. Oh, okay. The pictures. So, it, it, so, so until I get my Facebook got hacked. <laughs> yes. Is it? Is she use it for the thumb Peggy's just gone. What happened to you, Peggy? You're gone. 
Did she use them for the thumbnail on the YouTubes or? I gotta go. Somebody's somebody's upstairs. I don't know. Okay. I thought I was going to be alone. I'm not worried. I just wonder who it is. I'm going to anyway. be a little longer because I got to walk the dog, so it's going to take longer than five minutes. All right. Five okay. to ten anyway, minute break. I, uh, okay. I'll see you in, I guess, probably next week. All right. Okay, Jim. Bye, Bye Jim. Vincent, are you staying or going? I I really have to go. So okay. pause the recording. Bye -bye. All right. And sorry. I will pause Re recording. Remember, it's Dream on YouTube showing a picture of the prime minister next to a lettuce that had a blonde wig and a Bobby. couple of googly eyes in it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I have, I have a couple gray wigs. I don't have a blonde wig. I'm kind of a brunette. No, Where are you at, Peggy? We have so few people, it doesn't seem right to start without her. That's all right. I'll fill her in. And you know the head of lettuce won at, because today what happened, right? Yeah, but how does how does a head of lettuce live 45 days? It didn't. They only started about six or seven days ago. Uh, it is a reference to an article in The Economist where they said if you excluded the Queen's death, funeral, and mourning period where almost no actual work was getting done, uh, um, that her term in office was roughly the length of the lifespan of a head of lettuce. Uh, out. So a different newspaper made a joke out of it and uh, uh, it got a lot of attention. So will you be going to the other computer or is this computer you're staying at? Because right now you are Jamie and the other one is listed as Caspian. I want to make sure I give co-host to the right. I will computer. be going to Caspian. That's my okay. laptop, which I'm not using. Okay, quite yet. you're just, okay, cool. Perfect. Aw, Terry, what is your little doggy's name? This is Sunny. Hmm. I just see Sunny's uh, stripe. Oh, is that? Aww. Aww. <laughs> he's, he's very tired. And Peggy and George are back. Oh, Peggy and George. Give me a couple minutes and I'll be set up. Oh. Okay, sounds good. You want to see George? You want to meet George? Oh, that look. That look that he's giving you. <laughs> George. Hi, George. George. Hi, George. 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 Oh, George is vanishing. But he's turning his head. George. George. <laughs> oh, yes. Good George. Good George. He knows, he knows George. His name. Hi, George. He's like the Cheshire dog. Yes. <laughs> phasing, phasing in and out of existence. You're not interested in George? Um, so Caspian, if you have um if you want, I can still go now, even though you're here. He's fine. He's back. He's just setting okay. up his other stream. Okay. So I have a question about Facebook while Caspian is getting set up. Did anyone else get the thing uh, over the past year where they require you to have two-step authentication? Um, I know that some people choose that because it's a wise thing to do. But does anyone have a count that requires it? No. So they picked some, and, and mine was one of them. Oh. And it said, I was at a risk because of political, the number of followers, which was not the case in my case, or the political nature of pages that I am admin on, or there were several categories. And I'm required to have two-step authentication for my Facebook. 
Hmm. So it's because I'm an admin on a couple of political pages. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And they, t they tested it December of last year. It's called Facebook Protect. And then they expanded it about a month and a half ago. And you don't have an option. You have to do it if you're in this category that they deem. I'm too boring to be needing it, apparently. Yeah, me too, Peggy. Yeah, no. I tend to not do much political stuff I, on Facebook. I just don't cause... usually even go on Facebook much. Yeah. No, no, it's just a page. It literally is a page for a political club and a political organization is mm -hmm. what it is. I mean, I, I really don't post much there at all. I'm just the admin on the page. Um, You're right. Being an admin on that type of page probably puts you at high risk. That's why yeah. they threw you in the required. I've had MFA on my account forever just because I'm an IT. So I pretty much put it. Uh, MFA on everything when it's available. What's NFA? Multi-factor authentication. Oh, thanks. And I'm going to have longer passwords now because of what you said earlier. Yeah. The longer they are, the much harder they are to crack as opposed to, because the problem with having shorter ones that you make very complex with, you know, special characters is you don't remember it very well and you have to write it down somewhere you're much better off having a passphrase so some of my passwords are essentially sentences very long but much easier to type mm -hmm. all right hey. i know someone in the military that did a pattern so there's the uh, nine uh, nine digit keypad for accounting he does patterns on that and then a mm -hmm. pattern on the keyboard mm -hmm. for his um, combination of code there you go cool all right caspian what is your category well uh the category came to me while i was reading various tributes about uh, the uh death of the queen and there were some prominent british um musicians who were quoted and I saw three of whom were quoted simultaneously. So because we've already done the Beatles and uh, Elton John, I believe, I picked the third one. So tonight we are going to do Black Sabbath. Nice. All right. Uh, muting everyone in three, two, one. All right. Question one, Black Sabbath was the name of a 1963 Italian horror film featuring what iconic horror veteran? Question two, what English city, an industrial powerhouse and the second most populous city of the UK was Black Sabbath founded in? Question three, Black Sabbath's first album opens with an eponymous song based on a nightmare that bassist Geezer Butler had about a dark figure standing at the end of his bed. The narrator of the song meets this figure in black, identifying it as Satan. What does the narrator do? Question four. This same song is built around a guitar riff constructed of three notes. What term is used to describe a riff built around those three notes or very similar notes? Question five, what is the title of their most played song in live contexts? Also the title of their second LP, and was written in less than half an hour to fill out the album. Question six. Guitarist Tony Iommi suffered an industrial accident as a teenager, losing the tips of two fingers. This led him to do what? Creating his signature style in the process. Question seven, when they sing, I love you blank, though you can't hear, who are they addressing? Question eight, 
Question eight. Their fourth album was originally supposed to be titled Snowblind, which was in reference to what activity they were partaking in at the time. Question nine. For their fifth album, they rented a castle in a Gloucestershire forest. Where in the castle did they rehearse? And question 10, the band's tour in 1978, the last with Ozzy Osbourne for years, was supported and overshadowed by what energetic, iconic rock band of the 80s? All right. Everyone. Cool. Go to your rooms.
Long time no see. Yeah, I totally should have loaded this uh, earlier. It's so much, I feel so much more natural using the Susan background. <laughs> Yeah, because it's back to recording now. Interesting. Here's everybody. I want to know who ran away with Mike. He's the only one who knew this subject in our group. <laughs> that, that was tough. Yeah, it was. Is Mike not with us? He seems to have vanished. We lost Jim, too. So if there's no one left for the bonus round, <laughs> we could do motto rules and it won't make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to get it because I'm going to guess 10 answers and no one's going to challenge me. <laughs> hey, Katie, did you reach out to Mono, by the way? I did. And he is coming, he says. Oh, good. Yeah, um, Mike did have issues with his internet connection earlier. So I'm guessing that's yeah, true. He's, just dropped out again because something's going on with it. Is everybody here? I think so. I think so. Okay. Because we lost some people after last round. So I think our numbers are correct. Yeah, they couldn't handle it. No. I'm either going to get a four or a zero. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. See how we do. Zero is very possible. <laughs> I got twice. We, we got twice that. <laughs> number one the iconic horror veteran who was the star of this film was boris karloff yes oh, that was my second choice we had yeah. vincent price bella Lugosi. Uh, i was figuring that's people yeah, went that. that's what we were you. deciding between i didn't think about him we went well. british we went hammer film but good, good job team wrong. number two the second most popular city in the UK is Birmingham. Hey. Good job, Karen. Now, come that on, everybody. Too. You were saying zeros. Listen to how well you're doing. Well, not us. We're not two us. for two. Can we just end the round right now? <laughs> we just ended it right now. So, get it, get Number it. three, the narrator in this song runs away. Oh, Black oh, Sabbath for three. Has not and nev never has been a satanic band. In fact, they have multiple explicitly Christian songs. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so our guess of went back to sleep was incorrect. <laughs> we had make a, we had make a deal with the devil. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Number four. This riff built around three notes is a tritone. Yay, yes. Jamie! Yay, hey, Jamie! That was this close. particular case, most <laughs> yeah, commonly you almost got known it wrong. the devil's tritone. Mm. It has a very long history in Western music as being considered evil. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number five, most played song and title of second album is Paranoid. Yeah. That one. Hey, Kevin. That one. Yeah. Still at zero. Number oh. six. I found out this is actually a bit missed, uh, not specific enough. There are two things that he did after his accident. He put tip, artificial tips on two of his fingers. So if you had anything similar to that, I, I, I think our that. answer qualifies, team. What do you think? Yeah. Play with thimbles. That yeah. I think thimbles, that yeah. would qualify. Technically, they're rubber tips, but it's close enough. Uh, the other thing he did is downtuned the guitar, reducing the tension on the strings. Oh. oh. While also making the guitar itself uh, deeper and lower in terms of pitch. That's some commitment, losing the tips of your fingers and as if it doesn't hurt enough when you've got fingertips. 
Yeah. yeah. Was was the D mm-hmm. was was the tension on the strings just so that it wasn't as didn't cause him as much pain when he played it, I right. guess. They're, because they're of his fingertips. Looser, so you don't, don't need to press him as hard, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Did he have blisters on his fingers? <laughs> I don't know. John Probably Lennon. John Lennon. Number seven. The lyric is I love you, sweet leaf. <laughs> Did anybody get that? No. Oh, uh, uh, okay. What if we put Helen Keller? That was, my, that was gonna be my guess. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Helen Keller, though you can't hear. I like it. Well, t- correct. It's not the lyric. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Uh, number eight. How about just the way Snow Blind is a reference to the use of cocaine. Yes! yes! Hey! Everybody get that one. Abuse. Everybody get that one. That's, that's right. Yay for Everybody. drugs. We're Peggy, applauding did you drug get one? abuse. Yeah, we got one. We got Yay, the go Peggy. We got turning on cocaine. We're okay. applauding snorting cocaine. <laughs> they were receiving boxes of the stuff. Oh, God. Number Ooh. nine, they rehearsed in the dungeon of the yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry, we Bob. all get that one too. Mm. And number 10, the band that overshadowed them in their last tour of the 70s was Van Halen. Yes! Oh, oh, it to Queen at the last God. minute. For we not switched. knowing what the heck we were doing, we actually did, didn't do half bad. <laughs> we switched it from Van Halen to Queen. Yeah. Darn it. Nice. That was a good category, Caspian. That was fun. It, Even it though I went in going, first. oh God, I have no idea what any of these answers are. It was tough in a two person team. Let me Good tell job, you that. Team. Yes, it was. Yeah. Well, well next week, you maybe all more to come. can yell at all the people that went to Vegas instead of staying to play trivia like That's they should. I'm going to yell at Mike Wolf. He could have helped us a lot on this one. <laughs> yeah. yes, tell, tell him to get uh, more reliable internet. That's right. We missed you, Mike. Oh, All right. Gets it nicer. Okay, Good. let me find the spreadsheet and share my screen again. Do, do, do. Thank you, Caspian. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, that, was that, was that was good. That was good. All right. Uh, where's my screen, Sherry? Let me share my screen. Okay. Share. All right. We don't need no stinking badges. Thanks to cocaine, we got one. Yay. <laughs> Team name uh, for next week. I'm not going in order, but that's okay. I'm just going in order, top to bottom. Um, we're off on a tangent. We got oh. four. All right. Um, my team, uh, I seven. have us for seven, right? Okay, good. Wow. Good. Cool. All right. Um, did Susan and Carl get to meet William Peterson? Got three. Okay. We broke the curse. Yay. All right. Next up, Karen, are you ready? I am. I am ready. I'm always okay. nervous about the cutting and pasting, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. And every time I do a category, I don't check the list. And then I have this horrible feeling that, oh my gosh, we've done this exact category before. But even if we have, everyone will remember. We We won't remember. I won't. The (laughs) category is what's for breakfast around the world? Match the nation to an item that is part of that country's breakfast menu. So I'm going to give you a list. and, and I forgot to do one extra, I'm sorry. So if you miss one, you're, you miss two, unless you double up, right? So here, here is one through 10 countries, if I can get back to finding you. The one through 10 countries are Ireland, and I'll hit enter in a second. Ireland, Jamaica, the Netherlands, Peru, uh, Mexico, Colombia, Ghana, Australia, China, and Japan. Those are the countries. Cool. So then I'm going to live, give you a list of A, words and a description. And then you match that. You say like two is Z, five is T, like that. 
and I hope the cutting and pasting works. So let me alphabetize the answers here. Oh, they are in alphabetical order. Okay, great. So let's hope this cuts and pastes cool. <sighs> okay, one more time. That didn't work. Control cut. Control V. Okay. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. So let me try something else here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, do you want to do a screenshot thing? You can. Okay, since my uh, let me let me slide this over to where you can't read the answers. Okay. So So is any text going into the box when you try and paste or it's no, just it's nothing's not. happening? Let Weird. me try one more time. Okay. Try one more time. Control cut. Oh, that seemed to work. Oh good. Apparently you just have no, that's not control control V. Okay, well, we're going to try this on the um, screen share. No, that's not going to. Oh, oh, I know. I have a, a, a Word document. I can also share that with you, right? On a, G, on a Google Doc? Well, you can probably cut and paste from that. Yeah. Or is that what you were oh. cutting and pasting from was the Google Doc? No, I was cutting and pasting from an Excel sheet. Oh, yeah. yeah that's not. sometimes acts we weird okay it worked the first time though for the yeah i don't know why okay don't know why. here we go sorry uh talk amongst yourselves and i will have it for you momentarily oh, what okay. are your favorite things for breakfast don't give any answers away peggy Banana. oh sorry that's just in my country my pakistan <laughs> country it's bacon <laughs> okay is Me it done. okay to cook bacon in the microwave? Discuss. <laughs> no, it is not. It's not. I don't know. We we've made some pretty good bacon in the microwave if you get the right uh, pan in, that you cook them on. Ah, uh, you probably need a magic pan. Yeah. Wrap it in um, paper towel. Works fine. Yeah. I made oh. uh, I made homemade Julia Child French bread last week, mm. and I had. I had it with brie for a couple of days. I had two breakfasts right. that with brie. It's my favorite and coffee. It's just. Okay, let's see if this works. I had the, the little six-year-old help me and showed her how to form the loaves. And we, wow. made six, we made six little loaves like that instead of three long ones. So it was cool. Okay. So let me. So if Karen can't figure this out, we get to go and just figure out what kind of a meal we think they would eat and see if we're right. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just say bacon for all of them. That's right. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I mean, bacon is yeah, like Israel, a great food. Israel's not in there anywhere. So. Okay. Good. So anyone with this link uh, can view this document. Okay. And let me just uh, delete this information. And here's the link. Okay. Spam, now spam, that that spam, works. spam, and spam. Okay. So I'm going to share this and show it to you. Share. Okay. So here, here are the um, items. And A is leche de tigre, which is a glass full of the liquid that runs from ceviche. Uh -huh. It's made from fish juice, lemon, onion, salt, power, and hot pepper. Number two is black pudding, mostly blood, usually pig blood, that's mixed with oatmeal and fat, packed in a sausage tube, and then boiled, grilled, and fried before rolling onto your plate. Number six is congee with century egg, sometimes called a horse urine egg. It's rice por puttage, uh, porridge with a mixture of black tea, salt, lime, and wood ash that the eggs have been soaked in for five weeks to, to weeks to months. Vegemite, which is a thick brown food spread over, uh, for, made from leftover brewer's yeast. And um, number E is menudo, which is tripe, is essentially cow's stomach 
flavorful broth, hominy, and uh, sometimes they put in a whole cow's head and feet and spices. F is aki fruit and salt fish. Now, unripe and properly prepared, aki is, is, has a toxin in it that causes vomiting, cramps, sweating, and diarrhea. Even the water you use to boil it in, you have to dispose of it because it's toxic. And uh, waki, which is rice, beans, black-eyed peas, and sorghum leaves. Hagelslag, which is toast topped with chocolate sprinkles, the kind like we use on ice cream. Mm -hmm. And they also have a fruity vanilla flavors. And this is for breakfast. Chocolate Santa Ferrano, which is hot chocolate with a side of cheese <coughs> that you're supposed to drop into the hot chocolate before you drink it. And cheese miso and chocolate, soup. yum. And miso soup with soybeans, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So uh, there, you, there you have it. Any questions? Oh, I'm hungry now. Any questions? <laughs> yeah, now I want second dinner. <laughs> Fourth <laughs> meal. You should have powers. Oh, oh no, I didn't give them to you because I didn't want to give them to you in the middle of you. I'm powerless. To... Now you will have powers. Okay. Right meow. Here you go. All right, go to your rooms. <laughs> All right, we're going. Mm -hmm. Breakout rooms. Join.
Uh, it looks familiar in here. Once you get the answers, it's the same room, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I'll show you the pictures I were at, you were asking earlier. I was, going I was looking, I was noticing you have the, had them on. Yeah. I saw yeah. a number of them I knew and some of them I didn't. Yep. yep. So this is um, Little Ricky from the I Love Lucy show. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, it, my it, wife wanted to meet him. We went to a place in New Jersey and we met him. That's so cool, Little yeah. Ricky. <laughs> Little Ricky. And this is Billy from 1984. And this is the drummer from U2. And this is Billy and uh, his trumpet player, Kyle. And this is me and Don McLean. Bye-bye, Miss American Pie. Yep, yep. yep. Nice. My, mo my mother and her husband and Elizabeth Warren. Yes. And then uh, I, I didn't take this picture, but I met that guy in the background. I met him. He's the only surviving guy that was up on stage with Jimi Hendrix. On the left? That, yeah, that he was like 17 or 18, the drum, the bongo player. Uh -huh. I met him. I, don't, I, have, I have pictures of him somewhere. And then this is uh, Pat Benatar. Yeah, I knew her. I knew her. Hit me with your best shot. And this is a picture I took of uh, Clarence. Clarence, yeah. And Clarence then this is Bill, Billy Joel's Clemens band. Clemens, East Band. Oh. Yep. And then this is uh, Liberty DeVito, Billy's drummer from years ago. And me and the Pope, but this is just a prop though. Oh. <laughs> There's a cardboard cutout. Uh, let's see. Then uh, the guy from the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Barry. Be... Barry. Yeah. Great. Barry yeah. Williams. Great. Great. Barry Williams. Be in trouble. Yeah. And then uh, this is uh, Billy Joel's percussion player. I met her, and then uh, she was drunk when I met her in this picture. And then a few months later, I gave her a, photo, a shirt that had her name on the back. And then we met her again, me and my wife at Madison Square Garden. And then her, there's her on stage with Billy. And let's see what else I got. Billy looks like Dr. Evil in that picture. Oh, yeah, he I does. Guess. There's another one. He looks like the guy from uh, Star Wars with the metal face. Mm. They have it all over the internet. And then there's uh, Crystal on stage with Billy and then on stage again. And uh, some of these get cropped funny. There's uh, one I took of Tom Petty. And then there's Billy from 87 and 2014. And mm. then the band, Billy's band, that they, they use my photos for the promotions. That's a photo on top, the Lords of 52nd Street. Mm. And then... Steve Miller, Eddie Rabbit, oh. 1983 or four, Kenny Rogers, Kenny. Uh, Brad Paisley. My wife actually took this shot and I took this one because he came right in front of me. I have a mm -hmm. video of him playing, uh, singing the theme from, Sh from uh, Cheers on, uh, he was singing <laughs> right after that. And Very that's, cool. I think that's, I think that's all I got. Cool. Okay. Yep. Let's that's have some that? answers, please. Okay. Answers. Okay. Here we go. So number one, I think a lot of you got this right in Ireland. The answer is one B black pudding. It also is in uh, other parts of the UK, but from this choice, that is where that is from these selections. That is the correct answer. It is, yeah. in fact, served in other places. That's for number really good. Two, for number two, this fruit that can be deadly if you don't cook it just right. That oh, is damn it. Jamaica. Oh, sorry. Jamaica. Sorry. Okay. And the hagaslag, um, I heard good thinking about the, the word itself and also where chocolate is so prevalent, different things. The answer actually is three is H, the Netherlands. Yay. Yay. Okay. So then uh, leche. Okay, there were several that were in Spanish, right? So that's confusing. So the leche de tigre um, actually goes with four, Peru. So I'll put that there. There you go. And uh, then number five was Mexico, 
which one was Mexico? If any of you are from California, you know it's E, Menudo, which is some restaurants only serve on Sundays, then they moved it to weekends, and now many have it seven days a week. It's supposedly good for a hangover. <laughs> okay, so then we had another chocolate thing, the chocolate Santa Fereno, right? Hot chocolate with a side of cheese to go in it. That sounds disgusting to me. And that, in fact, is a breakfast item in Colombia. Oh, we did good. We Six did. Is, is I. Okay, the Waakai is, uh, that one is number seven from Ghana. That is yes. the sorghum with the rice and beans. Oh. Yeah, uh, there we go. Seven G, oh no, I got that one wrong. Seven is G. Okay, so then the, the Vegemite, right? A lot of people got that that's Australia. Eight is D, Vegemite. Now, I don't know if you read this, but I would like to make sure you saw this uh, in the description. A thick, dark brown food spread made from leftover brewer's yeast extracted from various vegetable and spice. I mean, we have various vegetable and spice additives spread on toast. If you're curious what Vegemite tastes like, you might try typing in Google. If you type Vegemite taste like, Google attempts to finish the search, the sentence, right? And the top selections that it fills it in with, Vegemite tastes like soy sauce, beer, or sadness. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> okay, in China, the answer to uh, which of those delicious sounding things, C, kanji, the horse urine egg, at seven, nine is C. And therefore that leaves uh, Japan with the miso soup, which to me sounds delicious. For ten breakfast. Is, ten is J. Yeah, I remember being on a fast one time. I, I went in a few days uh, hiking and being in whatever, whatever. Anyway, and, and I broke the fast with miso soup. Oh, it was so delicious. My body said yes. Okay, so scores please. All right, let me share my screen. Okay, let's do, we don't need no stinking badges. We got eight, because I talked eight. us out of the Jamaica versus Ghana thing. I screwed those uh, up. Okay, and then uh, we're off on a tangent. We got six. Okay. Did Susan eight. and Carl get to meet William Peterson? Eight. Eight. And my team also had eight. Well done. Yay. Yay. Nice. Good, good category. That was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Thanks, Thanks Karen. I didn't You're get welcome. hungry, though. Usually the food categories make me hungry. This one didn't. Yeah. Chocolate <laughs> with cheese. Still so a good anybody, category, but not if, hungry category. If anyone's doing a category, I forgot to do this myself. It's good to make it more than 10 so that people, you know, if they mm -hmm. miss one, they don't automatically so, yeah. miss two. I you forgot to do you that. You can't get a nine that way. Yeah. Unless you reuse an answer. Right. Yeah, right, right. exactly. Um, okay, so bonus round. Cindy, Cindy. are you ready? Yep. Yay. Okay. What is your category? Okay. Um, I did tulips. There are 3,000 types of tulips. So according to the website Gardenia, that there are 3,000 registered tulip varieties or types. So I listed 15 of the tulip names and this list of 30 names. So you just have to identify 10 names that you think might be tulips. And now we'll go ahead and put it in chat. So you're giving us 30, 15 of which are real tulips, and we pick 10 for our final answers? Yes. So you made up 15 names? Um, I just took a lot of names down. There are probably other flowers. They're just names the like wrong. I found. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Th names they're not tulips. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> this sounds fun. 
you're not getting anything out of me. <laughs> yeah. So it's in it's in chat now. Okay. It's not here. Yeah. Uh, have not you hit it yet, yet Cindy? Uh, oh, wait. We're not seeing it. Maybe I forgot. Enter. Yeah, there you there go. Sorry. Oh, geez. I, I always forget these steps. So I forgot. Enter. There it is. So there should be 30 names there. 15 are tulips. You just have to um, guess at least 10. Oh, look at you. Those are very interesting names. <laughs> okay. I can use those the next time I do my uh, geography thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cindy, I do you know like how it. to open the rooms or do you need me to do that for you? Um, I can if you need me to. Uh, I have that David. ready. Breakout rooms. Yep. Do I have that? Yeah, you okay. click on that button and then you say yeah, open, open all rooms. Open all rooms. Cool. Good job. Um, so everybody's in a room. Yep. And then you have the power since you're a co host, you can click uh you leave up that oh, breakout yeah, rooms and yeah. you can join various rooms so you can see how people are doing okay all right i'm gonna go to my uh, room okay
does make a difference with more people. What's what's the dog's name? Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. Uh, Sunny. What kind <laughs> is it? Jack Russell. Yes. Years ago, uh, I have an uncle. He reminds me a lot of Bob. He was a chicken farmer and a pig farmer years ago. He, yeah. He, he died years a few about, about five years ago. But anyway, when he was alive. He had a big farm and he raised chickens and pigs. And then uh, he he moved from my area to someplace in Virginia and uh, in the mid 80s. And he, when he sold his property, he became a millionaire because he had so much property. And then he bought a whole bunch of stuff down in Virginia and started up a farm down there. And he was raising um, the cattle, the Angus cattle. Uh -huh. And then his daughter came up for a visit. And his daughter had a Jack Russell Terrier. And her dad says, hey, um, why do you have such a little you know, dog? It doesn't do anything. And she says, oh, I love it. It's cute and everything. But it, it couldn't hunt raccoons. It couldn't do oh. anything his dogs do, you know? Right. So he didn't see a value in it. Then she said, well, I paid $600 for it. He goes, you paid $600 for that? So he started raising Jack Russell Terriers. <laughs> he got rid of all of his Angus beef and started because it was so much easier to feed and take care of. Yeah. He raised Jack Russells for 600 a pop. <laughs> and they're very loving. <laughs> so he went from not wanting the dog to wanting to raise them and sell them. <laughs> hey, 600 bucks. He said that his daughter paid 600 for it. That changed his mind. Uh, uh, that's funny. He was, he was a lot like Rob, uh, Bob. He had the chickens and he had them right in his house and everything. He, Bob reminds me of him so much. Funny. Have you always lived in Boston? Well, uh, Massachusetts. South, yeah, yeah, South. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I grew up in Taunton and then uh -huh. we moved, me and my wife moved to a place called uh, Rockland, which was halfway between my, my house and her house where she was. And she was from Weymouth. And then uh, we bought a house in Attleboro in 2000 when we had our kids. So my kids are all growing up now. Nice. We're going to the Cape tomorrow because my mother had a house down there that she passed away and we have to clean it out and stuff. So we're going to go spend the night there and oh. start going through her stuff and deciding what oh. to do with it all, you know? Yeah, that's hard. It is a lot of stuff, but you know, yeah, gotta do it. Yeah, Cindy, what's up? Oh, you're muted. Yeah, I think everybody's done, so I'm gonna um, close okay. the rooms. I'm We've gonna be got... really interested to see yeah. if some yeah. of the names we, we thought were silly, right? That, that you really made up or didn't make up. It'd be interesting to see I'll, how wrong I'll, I'll let you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was like, surprised at some of these names too. Yeah. yeah, like I went back and forth on Cynthia. We we went up against it. That does sound like a flower. Yeah. Now I'm thinking maybe we made a mistake on that one, but that's the only one. Yeah, but you know, there's 15, and we had to pick 10, so it could still right. be. A, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. It so, still could be one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let me close okay. the rooms. Call them back. This was a good idea for the category. It was. It was the way you did it. It makes a 10. Like a bonus, rather than say name ten, you you made yeah. thirty. I like it. Yeah. Well, I got help from Karen. I asked her, "How do you do this?" It was <laughs> how do, you do the bonus round. So she gave me some suggestions. That's it's oh. a good idea. I like the way you did it. It's hard to come up with something we haven't done already. This so for bonus round. You know, we've done the most populated cities in the world. Yeah. The least popular, you know, the 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 landlocked islands, the uh, you know, capitals of uh, the most populous cities, and you know, just stuff like that. Most populous and all the all the numbers things that you can do, you know, right? You've pretty yeah. much done all those. The top albums, the top songs, the, the top Disney dog or cartoon dogs, cartoon dogs. Yeah. Next, <laughs> next week will be a picture of all three thousand tulips, and you have to name them. <laughs> you know, I do not think any website has all 3,000 tulips on there. <laughs> maybe, maybe it would take up the whole website. Maybe the one that they, registered them is the only one where you register a new name. Yeah. Cindy, you had me scared at first when you said, 
there are 3,000 types of yeah. people. <laughs> I know. Name them. I, I know. I, Name like, 10. I, I, what? Yeah. <laughs> Red tulip, no, white tulip, yellow tulip. Yeah, not because most of these I had never heard of myself. So, um, so let me put the answers in chat and say them as well for the uh, recording. Uh, okay, that I'll Susan do that. We'll be watching. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Enjoy the tulips. <laughs> Let me put them in chat, and then I'll read them all. Okay, so um, all 15 names. So if you've got 10 of any of these 15 names, Black Parrot, Estella Reinfeld, or whatever you pronounce it, Christmas Dream, I misspelled that, Exotic Emperor, Orange Emperor, Furry Lease, Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Cynthia, uh, Black Hero, La Belle Epoque, Yay. <laughs> Orange yeah. Princess, Queen of Night, and believe it or not, there's one called Uncle Tom. Oh, that's bad. <sighs> yeah. And it is a black flower or very dark red or purple, whatever you want to, however you want to identify it. Design Impression, Pinocchio. Oh my gosh, and you made up those others. <laughs> Clever. No, I didn't. Actually, I did not make those up. Pegu is right. They're, their names are other flowers. <laughs> and I found them all on this website, Gardenia. Mm. I could have sworn I'd actually bought candy stripe tulips before. <laughs> With yeah, the candy. flower candy stripe, but not. There's a not peppermint. I think it's peppermint, a peppermint tulip. Oh. There is a candy stripe, stripe on the tulip. list. Oh, no. No, I didn't include that on the list, but yeah. I bought imaginary tulips, apparently. <laughs> no, there there are uh, red and striped tulips, but I think they call them peppermint or something like that. Oh, they might, yeah. No, I would have to go back. Be, this could be a game changer. Yeah, forging ahead. All Eight. right. Uh, I'm having a hard time uh, putting the answers down, though. Don't go away yet. <laughs> okay. We gotta cut and paste them. We had Queen of Night and I crossed it off. <laughs> That's also a dark colored tulip. I think of course. Got five, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. People getting their scores ready. We don't need no stinking badges. Oh, we got five. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Kevin, you still working on yours? Yeah, I need a half a second. All right, that's fine. Did Susan and Carl get to meet William Peterson? I don't know, did they? I got six. Ooh. Uh, I concur. I forgot that was me. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember what team I was on. <laughs> All right. Um, there's also a cat. Five. Five. Okay. And now we're just waiting. Yeah, I'm just going through and just double checking. But unless you got a um, 16, I think we got, 16, I think, I think, One, I think we have our two, winner. Three, four, yeah, we got five. five. We have five. Yeah. All right, there you go. There's our scores. Well, we tied. We weren't good job, laughing. teams. That was good fun. Thing they had that cat In category. Yeah, that was kind of yeah, fun. That I was, liked that. that yeah, the cat. That was. You it. know what? That was Cindy's first bonus, and we didn't even have to be reminded to be nice. Good job, Cindy. <laughs> what I have, what I have learned from this round is there's definitely more tulip named after odd things that i wouldn't think they would be named oh. after like pinocchio and kung fu and yeah. kung fu. <laughs> what's kung fu uncle look like? tom. is uncle tong a, a black tulip because that yeah. was bad that is you have bad. to go, go to the website gardenia go to tulips and, and you'll they don't do all three thousand 
that would take up their whole website if they did that. But they do a lot and you can see what type of flowers they are. And all the other names are flowers, but different types like some are dahlias. What else did I look up? Um, I don't know if I'll put any roses down there. Um, so Mrs. Franklin D. Roosevelt is a flower. It is. Wow. Is it a so rose? It's a flower. flower. The governor sounds like an Arnold Schwarzenegger flower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Bob, who was it upstairs? Oh, it was my son. Came home from the, the hospital. He's got a a med to pick up. He's he had abdominal pain, so he went to an urgent care, and she said, "Oh, you should probably go to emergency." Just you know, so they ran some tests, looking for like a appendicitis or something, but it was like a, a intestinal bacterial thing. So he's got an antibiotic uh, that he's going to pick up tomorrow. He says he no, might even go. No back. fun. No fun. No, like no fun. No, he might even go and do part of his shift after he gets on the med. So. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Yeah, Good night. Same, same here. Sure. Yeah. We kept the stream alive. That's, Thank that's you guys. We Thank kept you. the stream alive. Thank, Thank you, Ben, for sending in the hitters and now. Good job, Thank you, everybody. Bye, Thanks, Kitty. Ben Gerbic. Bye, Ron's Kitty. I'm ready Susan to go take Gerbic. a nap. Thank you. All righty. Yep. I, did not, I, did I guess good. I should rename her back before I. Uh... Bye, Susan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good night, Susan. Good night, Susan. Good night, Have Carl. fun in Vegas. Good night, Rob. Oh, good night, you didn't win. Uh -huh. <laughs> you you didn't miss a game, Susan. So we no. we, we we kept the torch lit. Exactly. That's what she wanted. So. We will be happy to have you all back next week. We missed you all. Yeah. Night. Yeah, we, we won't even give you dirty looks or anything like that. Exactly. All right. Good night, everybody. Okay. <laughs>